everyone. Welcome to First Look. Happy Monday. It is uh, a soaking Monday here in the Big Apple. Mike Salmson is here. He is uh, replacing Chris Dynan this week and helping us uh, stack the show, as it were. And he was actually nice enough to take out his gum to participate in this edition of First Look. Only so, because you made me. <laughs> all right, I know. So let's talk about the show. We're going to be talking a lot about extreme weather because it really does seem that Mother Nature has unleashed her wrath, right? Particularly, well, obviously that fire in Nevada is really bad. Yeah, it's yeah, it's right on the Nevada-Idaho border. It's like 900 square miles. In addition to that, nine more fires started over the weekend. I mean, it's the West is basically just like engulfed in flames. And then the, the very interesting flooding story in in the UK. The worst flooding in how many years, Mike? The worst in 60 years. They're using more helicopters to rescue people than they've ever used in the history of the country. Uh, there's just like nowhere for the water to go, and it's supposed to keep raining there. So. Also, we're, we're not doing all weather uh, because we've got a, a, some other good stories, including one on a new study about uh, sodas and heart disease. Apparently, carbonated beverages increase your risk of heart disease. Do they know why that is? Or? There's a certain chemical in there, which John LaFouk will be telling you about tonight. Yeah. Even that, diet sodas, by the oh way. Yeah. All you women drinking your Diet Cokes. Why is uh, it, it just women? Oh, while you men drink your Diet Cokes, too, but men, I think women drink more Diet Cokes than men. Call me crazy. But that that's a really scary thing, and I think it's going to have a huge, huge repercussions on the soft drink industry, don't you? Yeah. They're probably having a cow right now. Yeah, they can't be very happy about that. Um, anything else you want to talk about? Oh, how about my piece? Yeah, your piece is going to be in the show. It's a, It's like a perfect day to do that, the YouTube debates. And the uh, they're having a debate tonight, uh, the Democratic Party, and they're using unedited questions from people who have uh, sent them into YouTube. Right. And it's also, correct me if I'm wrong, but it's about sort of the influence that YouTube and the Internet has on politics, right? Correct? It's really having, it's playing an unprecedented role in this campaign cycle, not only for fundraising, but also for embarrassing the candidates, which is always, you know, fun to watch, and also to try to portray them as kind of uber hip and cyberspace. So we're going to be taking a look at really the role of the Internet. It's really also a fun excuse to roll some of the stuff that we've seen in bits and pieces in the last several months. Well, thank you. You can eat, have another piece of gum. Yes. I'm going to go talk to Armin about his I, I, story tonight. Thank, thank you. <laughs> Excellent job. All right, so Armin Katayan. Oh, look who happens oh, to be here. Armin's right. here, our, our chief investigative correspondent. So you're working on a piece. We did the story on Friday about right. that NBA rep. Yeah. And there's some new developments today. Well, you know, speaking of storms, I mean, the NBA is obviously engulfed in a huge one now with this official, Tim Donahue, and to see um, in what manner he was affecting the outcome of NBA games as an official. I mean, it's essentially the cardinal sin of sport. Um, when you have the so-called guardians of the game um, accused allegedly of manipulating games for the um, for their own benefit to pay off debts or um, you know in cahoots with gamblers it's uh, it's horrific it's a shocking story too because he was very very respected and very well liked wasn't yeah he, he was well we look forward to your piece tonight <laughs> okay, Norman. Thanks, thanks very Katie. much and hopefully you'll join us tonight on the CBS evening news